The story of Ragnar Lothbrok and his sons is both historical and mythological, woven into the rich tapestry of Norse sagas. The Legend of Ragnar Lothbrok In Gotaland, a young girl named Thora was given a small grass snake by her noble father. Over the years, Thora nurtured the snake until it grew too large to fit in a room, becoming dangerous. Her father promised to marry Thora to anyone who could kill the snake and reward them handsomely. However, everyone was terrified of the snake. Ragnar, the son of Danish King Sigurd, was tall, handsome, and brave from a young age. When he heard of Thora's father's offer, he set out for Gotaland. Before confronting the snake, Ragnar coated his clothes in mud and wore them to shield himself. He then approached the snake and stabbed it with his spear. The snake's venom splashed onto Ragnar's mud-covered clothes, preventing it from harming him. Ragnar killed the snake and married Thora. They had two sons, Eric and Agnar, but Thora soon died. Grieving, Ragnar left his kingdom and embarked on numerous wars. The meeting with Aslau. One summer, Ragnar arrived in Spangaride, Norway. While his bakers were baking bread on the shore, they encountered a farm owned by Aki and Grima, who had killed King Hamar and held his stepdaughter Aslog captive. Aslog helped the bakers, and when she went to bathe in the river, her beauty astonished them, causing them to burn the bread. When Ragnar asked why the bread was burnt, he learned about Aslog's beauty and intelligence. Ragnar sent for Aslog, setting a challenge to test her wit. She must come neither dressed nor undressed, neither hungry nor full, neither alone nor accompanied. Aslog met the challenge by wrapping herself in a fishnet, biting an onion, and bringing a dog with her. Impressed by her beauty and intelligence, Ragnar wanted to marry her. Aslog agreed on the condition that if Ragnar still desired her after returning from his expedition, they would marry. Aslaug and Ragnar's sons. Ragnar kept his promise and married Aslaug. They had four sons, Ivar the Boneless, Bjorn Ironside, Hvitserk, and Ragnald. Ivar, who could not walk due to having cartilage instead of bones, was the wisest. Meanwhile, in Sweden, King Eystein was a close friend of Ragnar. During a feast, Eystein's daughter served drinks, and Ragnar's men advised him to marry her and leave Aslaug. Though Ragnar agreed, Aslaug was informed of this by three birds. She predicted the birth of their next son, who would have a snake in his eye, proving he was a true descendant of King Sigurd. When their son was born with the snake in his eye, Ragnar remained loyal to Aslaug, rejecting the Swedish princess. Enraged, King Eystein became Ragnar's enemy. Eric and Agnar, Ragnar's sons from Thora, raised an army and fought Eystein, but were defeated. Agnar was killed, and Eric chose death over captivity. Aslog vowed revenge and sent her sons to Sweden, where they killed Eystein and won the battle. Ragnar's expedition and death. While his sons continued their conquests, Ragnar built two massive merchant ships to invade England. Despite Aslog's advice to divide his forces, Ragnar proceeded. In England, his ships ran aground, and King Ella of Northumbria easily defeated Ragnar, capturing him. Thrown into a pit of venomous snakes, Ragnar was protected by the enchanted shirt Aslog had given him, until it was removed. Dying, Ragnar declared, how the little piglets would grunt if they knew how the old boar suffers. Ragnar's sons, upon hearing of their father's death, swore vengeance. Ivar the Boneless, known for his cunning, proposed accepting a modest bear guild, compensation, from Ella. Ivar requested as much land as he could cover with an ox hide, which he cleverly cut into thin strips to enclose a large area. Establishing a fortress there, Ivar gained support from the locals and invited his brothers to return with a massive army. The Revenge and Legacy The brothers, now united and stronger, launched a final assault on King Ella. They captured him and, following Ivar's orders, executed him with the gruesome Blood Eagle ritual. Ivar took control of England, ruling until his death, while his brothers continued their legendary exploits, cementing their place in history and myth. 
The tale of Ragnar Lothbrok and his sons encapsulates the essence of Norse mythology, blending heroism, vengeance, and the supernatural, reflecting the values and beliefs of the Viking Age.